the early to mid 1980s before the rookie card craze really took hold of the hobby and when we had only a few sets issued each year it was pretty easy to keep track of which cards were scarce and valuable um, and really the two ha went hand in hand in those days so we had some error cards that were issued in uh, less quantities than corrected cards or vice versa and those tended to be uh, sort of valuable and likewise uh, high number cards from years past from the 70s and before uh, tended to be a little scarce and therefore drive prices higher especially if there was a star involved so back in those days one of the cards that would always be towards the top of the price guide listings was the 1972 tops rod Carew card that came in at number 695 out of a total of i think 787 cards in that uh, set um, it was kind of understood that there just weren't that many of these compared to other 72s and compared to other cards out there because it was in the high number series that that got kind of short printed and, and not sold as many uh, through retail outlets so i thought it might be fun to uh, take a look at how that card's doing on the market today given that historical context that may be a little bit lost in the modern hobby so I'm going to go over to the PSA uh, population report um, just to take a look at how many there are that have been graded of those 72 uh, top Rod crew cards so sometimes when a card is scarce or proceeds to be scarce, every one of them that comes up gets graded, um, which makes some sense. So you may see, or we may see, that Karu actually has quite a few cards graded here. So most guys are in the hundreds of cards graded. We'll go to the last page, which is where Karu is going to be. comes in at 1,335 cards graded. So that's a lot of cards, and his in action is at 715. So now, if we want to look at prices, we can go to the Auction Prices Realized tool. This is maintained by PSA, and they track um, secondary market sales of PSA graded cards from eBay and, and auction houses and so forth. So if we scroll down and pick up Karoo, we'll get the it'll load here in a second. We'll get kind of the full listing of all of his 10 pages worth of his 1972 tops and graded cards that PSA has tracked. Um, and if we click summary prices by grade, then we can see that a PSA 10 is going for about 3000 while a mint nine is a most recently going for about a thousand um, average is about 500 so you know the market has kind of exploded here in general over the last year and a psa eight is 200 or so so some pretty good hefty prices for uh rod crew rod crew's 1972 tops card uh, we can compare it to like uh nolan ryan from the same year so when Carew was really lighting things up with his 72 tops card in the 80s, Ryan hadn't made his big push in the hobby yet. Um, so no one in his right mind would have traded his Carew for a Ryan. However, now you can see that Ryan is, you know, whatever, twice the price or, or more uh, for the similar grade Carew. But anyway, the 1972 tops Rod Carew card is kind of a history lesson of the hobby and how things have changed over the years um, you know this was again kind of at the, the top of the mountain certainly for 72 tops cards and for for a lot of years it was one of the very top cards from the 1970s in terms of value still a valuable card and still a great looking card of a hall of famer thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later